In July, one of the largest gatherings of women in the FWBO was held at Tara Loka, a three-day event entitled The Great Gathering. The event was organized by the Women's Mitra Conveners in the UK and led by Ratna Vandana, overall Mitra Convener for women. The idea behind the Great Gathering is to provide women with an opportunity to come together in large numbers. It seemed a shame with the ever-growing diversity of women coming along to the movement now that we didn't have any opportunities where we could actually come together and experience that, experience uh, that diversity and yet at the same time our sort of common bond in terms of our going for refuge to the Three Jewels. And to have that experience of collective practice, which I think is so powerful, just to be in the shrine room with large numbers of people all practicing together. Well, I wanted women to have that opportunity, and I wanted all women to have that opportunity for it to be open to all women. There's never been anything like this retreat in the women's wing before. In fact, we've been making history on this event. We've had the largest number of women gathered together in the history of the women's wing in the FWBO. I think we've been up to, well, certainly 140 people have been here. So uh, it's far exceeded my hopes. What's been really lovely on this event is the range of people who've come from different places in the world. We've had people here from Australia, New Zealand, Spain, Germany, Holland, as well as, of course, all over the, the country here in the UK, and somebody from Dublin as well. The theme of spiritual friendship seemed very appropriate for the first great gathering, feeling that that is the ethos of the movement, that Kalyanamitrata is at the heart of everything that we do in the movement, that spiritual friendship is so important and I wanted people, instead of seeing the FWBO as institutions, to see it as a, a network of uh, friendships, uh, just having this lovely sense of these sort of dual networks of friendships spreading right across the world, in fact. We had a, a ritual on the event where each of us created our own personal mandala of friendship. And uh, then in the shrine room we joined them all together and uh, created this massive mandala of friendships, which I think does start to give us some idea of the interconnectedness of our friendships. I think that's one of the wonderful things, the, the fact that uh, each person's mandala overlaps with another person's mandala in some sort of way. And I think we got a very strong experience of that, seeing people's individual mandalas and then seeing them all hung together on the outside of our big marquee. They look really beautiful and uh, definitely give you a sense of uh, that dueled effect of uh, all these different friendships. <laughs> 